Hi everyone, my name is Katie and today I'm going to show you how to sew a pillow with piping. So sit back, relax, and enjoy! So the things you will need is an ironing board and an iron, a sewing machine with a zipper foot and pins, two different colored fabrics or any fabric of your choice, a pair of scissors, a rotary cutter, thread to match your fabric, a yardstick, cording, preferably about a half inch diameter, and a 16 by 16 inch pillow and some cardboard to cut your fabric with your rotary cutter. So first you're gonna wanna iron all of your fabric so you can make sure it's nice and flat before you cut it. Then you're gonna wanna measure your fabric pieces. For the front of your pillow, you're gonna wanna cut a piece of fabric at 16 by 16 inches. For the back of your pillow, you're gonna want, wanna cut two panels of 10 by 16 inches. And for the piping strip, you're gonna cut you're going to cut it 2 inches wide and 55 inches long. And then this is what all the fabric will look like when it is cut. Once you've done that, you're going to want to grab your two 10 by 16 panels. Flip it to the back and put it diagonally and you're going to want to sew one side of each panel. You're, you're going to do this because when we sew it to the rest of the pillowcase, it's going to create a little slot for the pillow to go in and out from. Next, you're going to want to grab the front panel of your pillow and your piping strip and your cord. You're going to want to put your front panel of fabric right side up and grab your strip of fabric, place your cording inside, fold it over, place it in the middle of one of the sides, and leave about a 2 inch tail of fabric and pin it in place. Once you've done that, you're going to want to stick it under the machine and remember to leave the 2 inch tail so don't sew on it. And as you are sewing, you're going to want to make sure that the edge of the piping strip is flush with the raw edge of the pillow. As you approach the corner, stop about an inch or two away and you're going to cut into the strip a little bit. What this will do is give a little ease to the corner as you sew around. Then you're going to want to start sewing that corner. And once you've almost reached the other side of the corner, you're going to want to lift your presser foot while the needle is still in your fabric and pivot and turn your strip and realign it with the edge and put the presser foot back down. Start sewing that side and do that for every side until you've reached the start of your strip. So now that you've got the two ends met up with each other, we want to finish them off nicely so it looks seamless on your pillow. You're gonna cut just the cording so that they're butt up right against each other. Then, what you're going to do is fold one of the edges and put the other one inside and fold it right on top and sew. And now the front part of the pillow is done. Now you're going to take both your back panels, lay them on top overlapping each other, then pin them in place and sew around the whole pillow. Here are both of my back panels overlapped about to sew around the whole pillow again. And now here is my pillowcase with everything sewn together. Once you've done that, you're going to cut the excess fabric on the corners. And also, if your fabric tends to fray, you can try to sew the edges with a zigzag stitch. Here is me finally turning my pillow inside out to see the final product. The last step is to just put your pillow into the case and then you're done. Here is my final product. I had so much fun making this. Thank you guys for watching.